If you can't afford a tower for an antenna, then grow a tree. If you are not patient enough, wait for the next storm and drag one home. Or if the storm happened in your yard, find a way to put the tree back up. Anyway, however you got your tree, and we're not going to be asking too many questions, we've now got to think about how we're going to put it back up. Now you could dig a hole and get concrete and mix it all around and all that sort of thing, but the problem is that you might lose a metre or so of height. And this is just going to be for a quick and dirty demo, so I'm going to do something that doesn't lose any height and gets us on the air really quick. So I've got this stake, I sometimes use it portable for a squid pole. I'm going to hammer it in the ground, tie the tree to it, put some wire up and see if we can make some contacts. Now as for the antenna, I've got about 7 metres of wire, I've described it previously. Anyway, we'll just hook that up to the top of the tree, hopefully there'll be enough length and it will dangle down as a vertical. And I've just got some Velcro strap and just See if we can tie this to our pole. Luckily there's no wind because otherwise this is going to blow over. I haven't hammered it in very far, not sure how stable it is. I'll just go into the house to get something to support it and while I'm away just keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't fall down. Here's our vertical antenna. It's a little bit long, we'll just wrap it around the tree a bit. Just give you a view of what it looks like. Just using a Normatch antenna coupler. Um, this antenna might work on 14 megahertz and up, maybe 10 meg and up. It's a noisy location, so I'm not going to expect many contacts. In fact, I'll try FT8, and with any luck, we'll get at least something. The local beacon on 10 metres. Didn't take long, but there's our first report from ZL1LC, who's given me a minus 16.
this is on 21 megahertz and the contact after a few tries was completed and the signals getting out much further than New Zealand with some spots received in the US and Japan and another contact also ZL now I've got some real DX a reply from K5TLL but it really didn't happen we'll just blame it on the high noise level here so we'll try for someone else made the switch to 17 meters and got a contact with W-O-L-E-N of course, instead of battling with dead trees, you could make it much simpler, much lighter and more portable just by getting a squid pole. In Australia, the best squid pole to get is Haverford. And when you order, put in VK3YE as a discount code for 10% off. And when they do arrive, they're very well packed, like the one right here. And then you can do to the tree what you should have done all along. I've just realised this could have formed the boom for a four or five element Yagi on two metres. Oh well, too late. 